Well, I was glad to see the stadium expansion. I'm, I was afraid if we went the long route, it'd be two or three years before we could ever get it built. And having the uh, good year we had last year, we needed to show some progress. So I tell you, the guys that got on that stadium out there did a tremendous job, really. They really, I, don't, I didn't say how they could do it. We needed it, though. Uh, I hope that we can pack it. I hope that we can keep it packed this year and show a need for more seats. That's what we're going to have to do to grow here at Florida State. Saturday is the first home game opener. What can the fans expect from this game? Huh. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that we can improve. I think that's very important to us. Last week we started six sophomores on defense that had never started for us. They played better than I expected they could. Now, we can't afford to level off. They've got to get better. I really thought this team would be a team that would start slow and maybe get better as the year progressed. We played the first ball game better than I thought. I hope, I hope that keeps up. If it is, we're, we're in business. But I'm, I'm always afraid of a lapse. So if we can improve, uh, we should be a pretty decent football game team Saturday night. Now, Oklahoma State got upset last week and uh, played Wichita State, and they should have won it. It uh, looks like they took the game for granted. They made mistakes that just killed them. They go back and get those mistakes corrected and come back here real mad about what happened last week. It could be a tough battle for us. We were very fortunate to beat them last year. I hope we beat them again, and uh, I think it'll be an exciting football game either way. There's a new NCAA ruling concerning the fans. Um, what exactly is it? Well, you, I'm glad you mentioned that because there's an NCAA is going to really crack down on crowd noise. Now, that doesn't mean I don't want our people to make noise now. I want them to make noise. I, I want the home field advantage. But when the official says, crowd, stop making that noise, we, we got to stop making it. Now, it only affects the home team. So that means in Tallahassee, our people have got to yell at the appropriate times. But when the ball's on the goal line and their quarterback seeks, you know, or the official holds his hands up, or our captains go to the crowd and hold their hands up, they must be quiet. If they don't, we'll end up getting a penalty, and that penalty would beat us, you know. So the NCAA is going to crack down on crowd noise. It must be controlled. I don't mean, again, that doesn't mean you can't cheer after a play or during a play, but when, when their quarterback is calling plays, if he says he can't hear, the crowd will have to slow down a little bit. Coach, how important are the fans to you and to the team? Oh, I tell you, they're everything. And I think one great advantage we have at Florida State is playing in Tallahassee with our fans. Last year, they meant so much to us here in Tallahassee. And... Uh, even more so this year because we have the possibility of having the largest crowds we've ever had in Tallahassee because of the enlargement of our stands. And the, the point I try to get across to our people, they, they, they've got a responsibility. They've got some growing up to do just like we do. And, uh, you know, a big teaching in football is that you can't quit. When things start going against you, you cannot give up, you cannot quit, you've got to keep fighting. If you don't, you're going to always get licked, see? And uh, our team has been remarkable at getting down and then coming back. But the crowd has got to be the same way. And uh, our football team, again, relatively young this year. Uh, we only have three seniors starting, six on the whole ball club. So if our, if our team has to go through adversity, we've got to come back. And I ask the crowd to do the same thing. If, uh, if uh, we're having a bad time out here, they've got to learn to accept that as part of football. We can't say, well, we're going to be for you if you win, but if you lose, we're going. No, you've got to be there all the time, like the Alabamas and like the Notre Dames and like the Southern Cows. Those people are going to come where they want to lose. Of course, they win most of the time, but uh, our crowd has to go do the same thing. We're trying to reduce the amount of alcohol in the stadium. You know, I'm not naive enough to believe that we're going to eliminate it all. That would be really impossible. But if we can uh, cut the court down to a pint size, uh, you know, I think our conduct will improve. So we're, we're trying to be reasonable. We're trying to reduce the amount of alcohol. We're trying to improve the conduct. And uh, we're not looking for confrontation. You know, we would much prefer to have the cooperation, the support of the fans, and to have to uh, confront them with uh, this sort of activity.
I didn't say anything to him, but yeah, you got much to work. You ain't got much to work with here. Jimmy uh, me. That picture. Gene Cox was here. Mm-hmm. Invited. Yeah. That'd really be good. He is one of our favorite people. On the four, see, Leon was an all one of those deals where it was an all senior like Florida State is this year, just about an all senior team, mm -hmm. offense and defense. Right. Had four starters back is all we had. Now the rest of them had never played varsity. Mm -hmm. Win the conference, win the region, and mm -hmm. uh, come within a touchdown and winning all of them. Mm -hmm. They denied us a him. Jimmy threw to him four times the whole game. Super. First, 50 yards. Okay, you're going to ask me questions and then let me get up? I thought I'd just go... But you get up. Yeah, I'm about to burn up. Uh Scouts lead the way. There you go. Got it.
this year we announced uh, our ticket sales to students today. Uh, we had an ad in the Flambeau, plus uh, next week we're mailing a letter to each student outlining the policy and procedure for purchasing uh, season coupon books for the coming fall. Where, has the ad, where have the ads appeared so far?
Thank you.